What do you do when you make a video that makes a buttload of views? Make a sequel to milk that sweet, sweet viewership dry. I mean, this is YouTube. What did you expect? So about a year ago, uh, roughly around nearly a year ago, I made a video um, discussing about the Thomas the Tank Engine Lego Ideas set. And a lot of the things I discussed, um, I still uphold today on what I think about it. I do think that the Lego Thomas uh, that we have here is really good. It's really solid. It feels like Thomas. It feels the most genuine Thomas and feels like um, it's been really well translated into Lego form. Um, the, there was one thing that I didn't actually discuss and that was his black wheels. I didn't really discuss them that much because I just didn't think it was that big of a deal. I mean, I think I would have said at least something but I think I kind of forgot to mention it but uh, I'll do it now and say that I didn't really mind the black wheels that much and I also didn't mind them that much but the person has actually gone ahead and changed the wheels. Um, he's done two different versions now. He's done one with Thomas with all blue wheels, which I don't really like. I think it's just too much blue. Um, he then changed it a bit and decided to have it um, part blue and uh, the rest of it being black, uh, which is more accurate to Thomas. And I think it it, it feels complete now. Like it feels like it, this is. It feels whole. It feels like this is Thomas that I'm looking at. So, yeah, I would say go with this version. Um, there's also some other things that the the creators actually done in the meantime. Like within just um, under a year, so much has happened, and it's honestly kind of crazy. Like the dude has um, gone ahead and made an Annie and Clarabelle. Uh, which is something I said in the video that should be done if there was ever to be a Lego Thomas set or if this was to ever become an actual thing. I said he should come with an Annie and Clarabelle. I also said he should come with a driver and fireman and it actually happened. I mean, I'm not saying I'm the one that persuaded him into doing it, but neither am I going to deny it. Nah, just kidding. It was really just about a bunch of people, you know, having it as a request and yeah. So... I think now, with it, just having Thomas and in Clarabelle and his driver and fireman uh, is perfect. Um, maybe, maybe give, maybe add a guard, like Clarabelle, give Clarabelle a guard and like a few passengers, maybe. Um, I don't think that's really necessary or needed as much as Thomas having a driver and fireman, but you know, I think it just really kind of be like, you know, cherry on top of the cake at this point, but you know, not something really needed, but it's something that's really nice. He's also gone ahead and made, this has this is surprised me the most, is that how he's made a Lego Percy and a Lego Toby and Henrietta. I did not think he would really do one, or like, I didn't really think that, like, you know, he would actually go out of his way to make more concepts of characters, but he has, and I've got to say, they look amazing. They honestly look so amazing. And I really have to give it to the guy when it comes to his creativity because he's working within the limitations of having to work with already pre-existing um, Lego bricks. So he can't make up bricks for it, for it at all. He has to make existing ones, which is really hard and is a lot harder than most people would think. Um, so a, a lot of like certain things are things you kind of have to um, you kind of have to improvise on, which I have to give him major kudos on how he was able to pull it off. Generally, um, things have been a little slow. Well, not necessarily slow. Like the guy has reached over to like like over seven thousand for like supporters, which is a lot. So he's definitely nearing around his end goal, and he's got about uh, like a good year and a half or so left to reach it. So he's he's nearly there. He's nearly there. So you don't you don't have to worry about that one. But um, 
There's one thing I do think that would be cool to discuss due to this, is that um, on this becoming, you know, on this actually becoming a possibility is because, well, the thing is, when it comes to, like, Lego Thomas, there's been many different fan conceptions and everything, like, different Lego Thomas stuff, but I don't think I've ever really seen, like, a Lego Thomas, like, be pushed this far to the point where it, it, it's it been pushed so far it could potentially become an actual set. Like, I've never seen a Lego Thomas gone this far like this one. And to be honest, if this fails, if this somehow fails, if this doesn't get made into an actual Lego set, because remember, even if it reaches the 10k votes, it comes down to Lego what approving of the idea you know having a look it's like oh well 10,000 votes let's see what all this is about it's about them approving it and then also uh, Mattel giving the green light of um, allowing Lego to make these sets which I don't see why they wouldn't want to because you make a lot of money from both Thomas fans Lego fans train fans and so on and so forth but if this doesn't become a set due to many different reasons, then this will unfortunately, this this may unfortunately become the closest we'll ever get to an actual Lego Thomas. And that is a bit sad to think about and hopefully it doesn't happen, but there have been many times before within like Lego ideas where there have been so many amazing ideas that have been presented over time that would make awesome sets but none of them have none of them have been made either due to many different complications either with lego not really um wanting to try and you know adapt that set or like work with this company that owns this ip or either the company that owns the the ip doesn't really want to work with lego like there's multiple different factors into it on why a lot of the lego ideas don't become actual sets, which is really disappointing because they are really cool. But moving away from that depressing thought, and where we move on to more uplifting um, thoughts, and that is, well, if this becomes a set, if this actually becomes a set, so the first, the set I imagine would be a bit of track with Thomas, um, Annie and Clarabel, his driver fireman, and I'd also believe he would come with the little stand thing, because I, I do think that's quite neat. Like, you know, have that when he's in stationary mode, so... You can still have him out without having to put, like, a whole entire layout of track for him. The... If this, like, actually does well, right, what if they actually start making a Thomas series. Like a Lego Thomas series. We've... Th this guy has already shown concepts of like a Lego Percy and Lego Toby, and the door has now been wide open for po possibilities now at this point, because it's like, oh, well, we've got Toby and Percy, well, what about Edward, or Gordon, or James, or Henry? or Duck, or Emily, or Oliver, Donald, Douglas, it's honestly infinite with an amount of characters that you could make into Lego. So, Thomas becoming a full set series. How would that look? How would a Lego Thomas series look? Well, I like to imagine this. I like to imagine first they start with Thomas because it's the, he's the face, he's the most popular, he's the most known. They start with him, they see how well it does, and if it sells well, I can definitely see them trying to make more um, Lego, ca um, Lego sets of, you know, more of the characters. So I can see them making Percy, I because I think he's the most, like, like the second most uh, recognisable and the most well-known, most popular, I do believe. Um, I would also say, must be do dames, or maybe go with Toby, because, you know, maybe you want to start with the small engines first, and then you, like, work your way to Edward, then to James, then to Henry, then to Gordon, and then um, to complete the whole thing, I would say make a Lego duck as well. 
No, not that. I would say make a Lego duck because once you've got all these characters and you have Lego sets of them, you can have the eight famous engines. Which would just be a really surreal thing to see all eight famous engines like standing in a row from that, like, that really famous picture that everyone likes to, you know, point out to and everything when talking about the railway series and Thomas in general. Um, and just see that, but with Lego. It would be very... It, it would be a sight that I don't think anyone would believe it's true unless they saw it. And even then, I don't think they would believe it's true. Um, I'd also think it would be a kind of cool idea is that with each uh, character, it comes with like their own stuff. So like Thomas comes with Annie and Clara, of course. Toby comes with Henrietta. Um, Percy comes with the mail train, you know, because that's the sort of his sig signature thing. And then like Gordon with the express. You get where I'm coming at. Like they all come with their different things. Um, but it doesn't just have to stop there. You don't have to just stop at your eight famous engines. You can continue on. Like, what have we got at Donald and Douglas? What have we got on Oliver and Toad? What if we got on Emily? What if we got some of the Scarlowe characters? You know, Scarlowe, Reneus, Duncan Rusty. Why not also dive into some TV series characters? Like, why not get one of Emily or Hero, or Victor, or any of them really? Like. There is a lot you can really do with this, and not just within characters, but with sets as well. You can make so many different sets and like scenery, like from Natford Station to Brendan Docks to Tidman Shed. Completely endless on what they could do with this, and it just really, really, really makes me shocked. That they have not tried to do this before in the past. They have not tried to make a Lego Thomas before. They've not tried to make Lego Thomas, you know, sets of all the characters. Make um, Lego sets of of different locations. Like I'm really shocked that this has never been attempted before. Like, it, it, like it's not even something that has been in discussion. Like, you know, in a Lego headquarters thing. It's like. Hey, you know what we should do for like a Lego series? What would we need a Lego series of Thomas? No, that's stupid. You know what we should do? We should continue to re-release tons of our old Lego sets of Star Wars, but make them much worse than the original. I shall truly have the greatest minds working at Lego. It it just baffles me. It really baffles me, but you know. You know, you can make up for it. You can make up for a Lego. And I think Mattel really need this more than anything. Like, at first I was like, thinking like, oh, would Mattel actually say yes or would they say no? They would say yes. They are completely desperate at this point. I feel, I feel like, like they're desperate for any amount of like money because they have not made a single dime from this, from this franchise ever since it switched over to like, brother and like all engines go and such and also would it actually sell well mm, well i mean i would say yes but at the same time no like i really want to say yes i really want to say this would sell well but would it actually sell well because i'm thinking of the current climate that thomas is in at the moment like the current condition that Thomas is in really makes me think that nobody is really trying to upkeep with Thomas at the moment. Like it feels like Thomas has very much over time fallen out of the public eye, like over a long period of time. And it's all just one of those has fallen into the one of those kid shows. If you know what I mean, it's not, oh, it's Thomas the Tank Engine. No, it's like, oh, it's one of those kids' shows. That's what it feels like to me. Like, I imagine that a lot of Thomas fans would definitely be buying this. That's that's a definite guaranteed one. This is definitely something that has the potential to be great. But I also think we have to be a little bit realistic and thinking, would this actually sell as well as we think or hope it would more than likely not i don't think anyone would be really interested other than people w within the thomas fandom or you know 
kids today watching the new Thomas show, or, well, not watching, but morely being forced to watch it, or maybe people who are a bit nostalgic for Thomas and they decide to buy it, or Lego fans, like, that just, that's the thing that I think would really convince Lego not to make a Lego Thomas like series is that they feel like it would be a very limited audience on who would be buying all of this stuff um, so I think that's why they probably wouldn't make it because they would feel like it's a very limited audience but do I think it would still work yes do I still want it to happen most definitely will it actually happen that is unfortunately up for debate but I hope it's something that definitely, you know, comes into fruition. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed listening to me ramble about a Lego set based on a talking train. And if there's anything Thomas related that anyone would fancy being covered or me covering, um, do let me know. You know, I, 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 I want to... I think it'd be kind of fun to try and get into a bit of discussions. Like, I have been, I have a few ideas on what I want to discuss in, so I'm just morely messing around with those at the moment. So, you know, tell me, tell me if there's anything in particular that you think would be kind of cool to discuss or, you know, for me to ramble on about at least. So, yeah, do um, do uh, do do let me know. <laughs>